Welcome to Jazz History. Your host and narrator is Chase Sanborn. Willie the Lion Smith is generally considered one of the top three of the New York stride piano players, along with James P. Johnson and Fats Waller. His long first name was given to him to reflect the different parts of his heritage. Joseph came from the Bible, Bonaparte came from the French, Bertolf was his biological father's last name, and Smith was his stepfather's name, which was added when he was three. William and Henry were added for spiritual balance. It's no wonder that he referred to himself simply as the Lion. Willie the Lion Smith had a long career, living until 1973. In his later years, he was a living connection to the early days of jazz. Here he is reminiscing and playing in 1966 with a cigar improbably and hilariously dangling from his lips. Reminiscing something about the piano greats. You've heard out jazz music, they say it comes from different cities and different states. I say jazz comes from anywhere that the human being has a soul and has a heart. I'd like to mention some of the greats. We had James B. Johnson, Thomas Fats Waller, Yubi Blake, and Sissel, Charles Lucky Roberts, Hank Duncan, Ralph Sutton, yours truly, Willie the Lion Smith. I'd like to segue for this, from this tune into something more brighter, entitled Finger Buster. Are you there, Lion? Ready, up to tempo. <laughs> Now for fun, here's Dick Hyman playing the same tune in 1985. Thank you. 
there's more jazz history ahead, but please take half a second to click the like button before you move on. Thank <laughs> you.